Hello, my name is Diana and today I'm going to show you how to make these little felt flowers for your travel notebooks. And uh, this one is uh, movable because I put a little hook on, on the back and it, it's not the most gorgeous version of the flowers or anything, but I'm just going to show you how to make a quick and easy one. And um, so there's our traveler's notebook. Do you hear snorting? That's my dog. All right, so your materials. I have um, a glue gun, a multi-temp glue sticks. These are kind of old, so a medium-sized pair of scissors or a large pair of fabric, fabric scissors and a small pair for detail work. So this is my medium size and 100% you need fabric scissors. You can't just use just any any scissors. Or if you try to use other scissors, just make sure they're extra sharp. So brand new, out of the box, ready to go, craft scissors. Also, you'll need felt. One for each color of uh, flower that you want. And then also some for the, some green for the leaves. I'm just going to show you a really basic pattern, super easy, quick, okay? So the first thing I do is, these will be the last thing, is I take each color and I fold them in half. And now this is a 9 inches by 12 inch piece of felt from Michaels. So I've been able to buy it on sale at Hobby Lobby for about 15 cents that's on sale and then at Michaels I bought this each piece of these for like 37 cents because they weren't on sale so anyway not very expensive so I'm gonna fold it in half if you hear a jingling that's my dog all right so all I'm gonna do is just guesstimate and just start cutting so that the, this is technically it looks closer to a square this side so i'm just going to cut and and you'll find i mean i don't want you to think too hard about about it because this is just super easy super quick so you've got a rectangle a long thin rectangle and a large rectangle on this one now keep this half in in half and cut that directly down the middle so that you'll have two technical, technically squares. They don't have to be squares. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing for all three colors that you chose. Now, I'm crazy about blues and I made a whole bunch of blue roses <laughs> and now I don't have any colors that really go with them so I had to go back um, and buy a whole bunch of other natural colors for, for flowers. <laughs> anyway, so I'm doing the same thing on all three of them. I'm cutting. And then I'm cutting down the middle. All right. So. Technically, I can have six flowers here, so one of each color. I'm just going to make three flowers, um, and actually, one of the flowers I'm going to make in one of these super easy, uh, one of these smaller rectangles. So I think I will make this flower, that color, the darker pink into a flower out of that long rectangle. So I have the two little squares, kind of kind of square, and this rectangle of felt. All right, I didn't mention, this felt is the cheap felt. This is not the really nice, expensive 75 cent felt. Um, so the next step is to cut this into a spiral. So I'm just going to start cutting. So notice I'm just going to just, I'm going to work my way towards the edge and not hit the edge. Of course you can hit the edge if you want to, it's up to you. So I'm just going to cut. See, I hit the edge. 
go towards the other edge. Okay, so I've got a I've got a, a circle that I'm that I'm getting. Okay. So these these are trash. Of course you can keep them and use them to bind the back of your flowers. You'll need something to put in the bag. Probably green is the best. Now I'm going to cut a spiral out of my circle. So I'm going to cut a, spi uh, a circle out of this. So let's do that too. So circle, cutting the circle. Notice my circle is turning more into an oval. That's no big deal. An oval is just fine. You do not have to be perfect. All right, so I have two. Let me get rid of my scraps. All right, so now I'm gonna cut into a spiral. I'm gonna start a little thin first, and then I'm gonna start making my spiral a little wider as I go along, and you'll see why I'm doing that. So a little wider, a little wider spiral, a little wider, and you go, oh, oh, what about this at the end? Don't worry about that. We can round that off a little wider, a little wider. And it's okay if it's not perfect or if it doesn't look like mine. I'm just cutting in a spiral. Boop. All right. And you'll see that little edge right there. I can cut that right off. No big deal. Okay, so now I have a spiral there. I'm going to cut my pink, my light pink one into a spiral as well. So remember thin to begin with. And then I just cut a little wider, 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 wider. Okay, not perfect, but now I have two little snakes. Snakes. All right, with my snake, you can decide I want a small flower or I want a large flower. I'm gonna make one of these kind of medium size smaller. So I'm gonna start, let's see. I will start here. Just so I cut off this little bit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start folding in, curving in. Now, you might want to pull it out, just tug on it a little bit from the inside. Once it's all tugged out a little bit, I'm just going to just twirl it around. Now, if you do a ton of these, you are definitely going to give your hands a cramp because this is this gave me a cramp. Now this is a tight rose and I would bring the rose up. Notice it doesn't all have to be all lined up at the bottom. I would bring it around so it looks like it's just wrapping around. Real nice and natural. Bring it up a little bit. Okay. This is where your glue would come in handy. You would put a little bit of glue here and wrap it around and then glue the bottom glue along here to put this along the bottom and it just closes up the rows and it'll hold it in place. All right, so we have one little rose. He's really simple, nothing fancy rose. Now I'm gonna show you another type. On this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of a design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve up here. Now what I, I like to do is use my thumb so I'm going to use my thumb and kind of cut around my thumb a little bit. V down, put my thumb again, cut a little V here. You'll see that little V. And this is a little bit more fussy. So, or you could just cut around there, move your thumb. Cut around, move your thumb. Uh, around that. <laughs> Not the most wonderful flower petals, but yeah, that'll work. I can cut here. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is just, I'm going to speed up this process because this is going to take a little while. So just cut. hear the grumbling that's my dog I have a couple more projects that we're gonna put I'm gonna put on here my sister and I have been doing a lot of um, Google Hangouts you know because of the social distancing now it's really cool because she's in South Texas and I'm in North Texas so we hang out daily right now and it's it, it's so helpful for me because it's kind of like therapy I have back, I had a back injury so I have to I'm trying to train my body to stand sitting for so long so while I'm sitting um, we we chat we work on crafts and and so I was telling her that I wanted to do this little tutorial just just to show people how to how to make little felt flowers and quick and easy and share what I've learned and I made a whole bunch of them. They're kind of on, on my shelf now. My shelf kind of looks like a garden because they're all over my notebooks now. <laughs> and I don't like to affix them so that they don't, so they won't move. I like to have mine move. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off the little center here. I don't even need the little coil center in the middle. All right. So you see where my thumb was. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tug it a little bit, maybe if I need to. Let's just wait and see if I need to. So I'm going to start just rolling it. Notice I'm going in the opposite direction that I did last time. It doesn't matter. It matters, what matters is that you, you're happy with what you're making. So I'm just coiling it. Oops, see that's hard to, and this is, this is why I got hand cramps making too many flowers. You might have to fold over and just like double over a little bit because the flower might be a little too loose. Whatever you have to do, you might glue it down as you go. That might help. So I'm just loosely pulling it around. Notice my terrible little petals. I can fix those when I'm done. I'm gonna, I'll come back around and um, I can trim them if I need to. If you hear the snorting, that's my dog again. So this one looks a little bit more like a little succulent, but it looks really cute. So there are two flowers ready to go and my last one, my biggest one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fold this in half. And it doesn't have to be this huge. Let's see how tall that's going to be. It's about as tall as this. So I'm just going to fold it in half and then I'm going to cut until I'm happy. So notice that it's completely folded in half and I'm just going to snap maybe a quarter inch away from the bottom. So I make them about a quarter inch apart. Just line, straight line. I'm gonna stop there. I think that, no, let's do the whole thing. <laughs> we can always cut off some if we think it's too big. So, all right, so here we go. I'm still going, 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 going. All right, and then I'm gonna twist it around. until it's all together. All right, then you would glue that 
put a little hot glue there and maybe along the bottom to seal it and then we have three little flowers. Okay, so I have three flowers now, little flowers with different types of petals. And now I'm going to make the back. I can put them on my little felt here and get like a triangle if I want to, put them in the order that I want and maybe draw a little shape on it. So I can use a pen if, if I want to. I'm just going to draw underneath if I want to. Okay, so all I did was I just made a little line. So I can glue them on here as I wish with my hot glue. And then the great thing is that the green will look like it's part of the, the leaves. Now I'm going to show you how to make an easy leaf and I'm going to make two of them and then we will be done. Okay, so I'm going to just cut off a piece of fabric here. Not very wide, just big enough for, for a couple of leaves. I'm going to start in a corner. Okay, so I'm starting in the corner. So I'm going to just cut and I'm pulling the fabric at the same time. And I'm going to bring this closer. And I'm going to kind of nip it out. Pull the fabric out and let my scissors cut into the leaf. So it creates like a little jagged design. I'm going to just flip it over, do the exact same thing. Pull it out, pull it out, and then meet the little cut in the middle. So now I have a little rose leaf, and I can make as many as I want to. Um, I'm going to make two right here. Out. Out and then curve towards the inside, flip it over, out, out. Some, some, for some reason my, my first side always looks better and I don't know why, but oh well. If you have to, just trim it. Okay, so now I have two leaves and my roses and I can glue it all together in the shape that I want. Once I've glued this together, I can attach this to my notebook however I want. If I want to, if I want to, I can just uh, put a little band on the back and like or a ribbon. I can also put a little hook on my personal one. I attached a lobster claw. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't show you. I hadn't chosen this one, but you'll see I just had little bits. I chose a lobster claw and I just glued it on. And then I was able to hook it on and I can move it to the side of my notebook if I want to. So now you know how to make felt roses and leaves for your traveler's notebooks. I hope you have fun. Thank you for watching. Like or subscribe like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.